Right, so we decided to find the West Indian team with the best names of all time. Ooh. And I'm telling you, we found some good ones. Jaswick Taylor, Prof Edwards, Uton Dow, Foffy Williams, <laughs> uh, Snuffy Brown. Snuffy? El Comido Willett, <laughs> Oscar da Costa. <laughs> Oscar da Costa. Oscar da Costa. The best setups ever. <laughs> Snuffy Brown. And I'm putting <laughs> El Camino, uh, good Akesh Modi in there as well. <laughs> yeah. oh, I reckon yeah. he's in. Yep. Yeah, all right. Yep. Okay. What was the fuck? Cle oh, Claremont de Pisa. <laughs> it was another one. <laughs> Proffy Williams. Yep, Proffy Williams. <laughs> Allowed to pass oh. through this time. Just magnificent name, yep. aren't they? Yep. Beef, we're staying at a beautiful hotel here at the Adelaide Oval. <laughs> EOS, it's called, at the casino. Wonderful spot just genuine luxury to be honest we're very fortunate we get looked after by the team here at triple m cricket but what happened at your hotel about <laughs> half an hour in yesterday you merv and i we all checked in at the same time. time wandered up what happened after that well then i went to the room and i was just getting to go and have a shower and i thought it was someone knocking on my door it must have been the door next door so i had he's <laughs> 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 so. stuck so uh, <laughs> why I'd leave it. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I get there and uh, I look around. Like, there's this little gateway, it's like an entrance there. Where, uh, so I went like this to have a look and see if it was anyone for me. Uh, but the door slammed behind me. Oh no! And all I've got is like the hanky-sized hand towel. <laughs> and you're Starkers. I'm Starkers. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I said, luckily I could hear the uh, Man Mountain moving up the corridor, and I said, Merv, Merv. Get downstairs and tell them to send up another key. Anyway, luckily I survived. It was a very quiet time in the hotel, thank goodness. <laughs> it wasn't what cold, a... was it? <laughs> Three for 54. Well, That's defended. I actually had the horrors last night when I was lying there in bed, or this morning when I woke up, and I thought, Jesus, that could have been, that could have been a shock, isn't it? <laughs> Having to walk down to the reception with a towel that's the size of a hanky. <laughs> Would it have got the job done, the, the towel that size? Was it? No, mate. <laughs> Well, well, it's interesting. Um, I, I think Merv Hughes has got a story very, very similar. But he had to walk downstairs with a chewy packet over his... Uh... <laughs> I'm, told that, I'm told that more than did the job. <laughs> <laughs> Two balls left for Stark. It's full, driven back to the bowler. Merv's just loitering at the moment. Yeah. What's happening, Merv? Oh, it's a little bit disconcerting. You walk out of your room. Merv! <laughs> <laughs> you turn around, there's a great man holding this like little handkerchief. You just think, wow, well, it must have been a cold shower. I had this all over. <laughs> He's been rehearsing that for the last 20 minutes. Out of that. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for that, Merv. But no, I meant to be quite genuine because I could have still been outside that room. Imagine that on the front page of the Adelaide Papers this morning. <laughs> Gussie, we, we do our, our show 4 to 6, Triple M, uh, a rush show here in Adelaide. Greg had to leave at 5.30 for an appointment for some Botox under the eyes. Yes. He had some plugs put in at 6 o'clock. And yeah. boom, what happened to his teeth? teeth well, they, I need to wear sunglasses when I look at him now. And I don't know, he, he's on radio and he's, he's, he yeah. looks... He, he, he's, he's gone one shade too many. He's been too long in the solarium. They're banned, and somehow he's looking more he's, like <laughs> there's a black market for the solariums here, and he finds them somehow. But have God a word him. to him. Yeah, I, I'm sort him out. Disappointed. He's not one of us. He's a bit different. <laughs> Stark into Joseph in this ball. Oh. ball, and he works in through mid wicket. A really nice shot. That's four runs. Well played, young man on debut. He moves to six. It's time the pants off that great hands. Shamar Joseph facing Hazelwood. This ball, he's absolutely tonked it. He thinks he's playing T20. He's absolutely smashed it, and he gets himself a boundary. Good shot, young man. He moves to 13 off 14 deliveries. Yeah, not a bad idea. Hazelwood won't like that. He's into him now. It's pitched up, and oh. he smashes it again. That's going to be the 150 for the Windies as he hits back-to-back -back boundaries. Joseph moves to 17. This is exciting stuff. From the young man on the boot. Hazelwood into him. Again, he backs away and he absolutely smashed it. It should be 12 and went that far. Absolutely smashed him out of the ground. Joseph moves to 25. The Windy's 9 for 165. How about that? Giddy up. In now. 
Big edging, and it's taken. He's taken a wicket with his first ball, and then he's buggered off over to the east, and they're all having to chase him down. What a wicket. Steve Smith gone with his first ball. You can't get off to a better start than that in <laughs> Test Match Cricket. We all thought, oh, he's, he's really nervous. He's lost his run-up. But he's gone back, and with his very first delivery in Test Match Cricket, it's none other than Stephen Smith. What a scout. What a start to your career. Good catch taken as well. Unbelievable. Yes. And I said to him, he's got to go all Ric Flair on us. <laughs> After he does it, he's got to give it some... Woo! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Here, go. Here, Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh! All right, that'll do. <laughs> oh, have a look at me about it. Just, yeah! he's, given... <laughs> he's gone, Rick Flair. Perfect. He's gone, Rick Flair. Perfect. <laughs> Shaking hands. That's Good what we down. wanted. He's done it. Door stop him here. So... I was, uh, I was pretty keen on getting the woo, the Rick Flair <laughs> in at the end. So, um, no, what a, what a great honour, mate. Two fielders on the leg side for Travis Head. It won't matter as he drives through cover to the applause of the Adelaide Oval crowd. There's no place like home. Travis Head, 100 from 122 deliveries. He loves batting here. What an innings this has been. The hometown hero, Travis Head, standing up on a tricky wicket, as he so often has over the last few years. He hasn't been at his best from ball one, but towards the back end of this 100, He's really started to flush it out the middle of the bat. He just continues to find ways to score runs when others have struggled. Again, standing up for his country, making 100 on his home ground. Wonderful performance, Brian. Yeah, excellent performance. 175, 30 months ago against the West Indies. Slightly different attack, but same result. The West Indies have struggled against uh, this left-hander, this amazing left-hander from Adelaide. Choking up another big 100. It's 28 innings since... He last batted against the West Indies, and we haven't been able to sort him out. But uh, <laughs> congratulations must go out to him. Hazel with three slips in a gully to Chandapur. First ball. There's an edge. It's a faint edge, but it's enough. And Josh Hazelwood picks up from where he left off in the first innings. Chandapur gone for a first ball duck. And there's the first pole for the Aussies. Yeah, it's been tough work all game with that new ball. And Chandapur has got an absolute cracker there from Josh Hazelwood. Nice and full. Just went away from him. Took the outside edge. Alex Carey has come up about a metre and a half. Took an easy catch. Waist height. But that was a great way to start there from Josh Hazel with little feather. Great start, these trains. It might be a sign of things to come for Discovery Parks. Triple M Rocks Cricket. Hazelwood with the wicket. That's a great catch. What a catch at short leg. Travis Head. Reflexes of a cat. Travis Head, and listen to the crowd. There's a massive roar today when he got his 100, but there's laughter all around. With Travis said, the players will be saying, mate, that's, you've got a home in there now. You're not leaving bat pad. But what a catch from jo Travis Head. Josh Hazelwood found the inside edge. He went out quick, low to his left. Beautiful technique there by Travis Head. What a catch, and don't the Sackers love it? That got a fair part of the bat from the skipper Brathwaite and Head hangs on to a ripper. I reckon there's something like 12 or 13 of the wickets to fall have been caught by the keeper of the slips. Make that 14! Athanase attempting a hook shot. Glove on the way through. Simple for Carey. And Hazelwood on fire. Jeez, it's a good bounce. I don't think Athanase was expecting that. And it, it went through quick. He's had a bit of a dart at it. And unfortunately for him, it's just got... The glove. No, hang on. Oh, hello. Hang on. He was walking off. I don't think he's... Has he got that in in time? Well, that he's... review? He looked at his glove and then he thought, oh, I'll have a review. I'm halfway off. Oh, oh, oh no. no. It's, it's ripped the glove, the glove off his hand. Hotspot leg side, please. Does he know the rules? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. There's a wood to Hodge. Edge and this one's taken. Steve Smith doesn't drop him. Four for 19, and Hazelwood has four for two. 
And that's a shot you can't play. On the back foot, playing loosely on the up. It's just not going to work against this quality bowling on this sort of surface. I think you can play the shot if you're moving forward, but he's not looking for it. He's sitting back and then little or no foot movement towards the ball, just pushing the bat at it. You're going to nick most of them against top-class bowling. Four for two, Junior. Yep, and more to come. He hasn't finished yet. Green in again past the umpire. Into McKenzie, full ball, and he drives, and he drives straight to short cover, and he's out. The pick of the batsman, McKenzie, is on his bike, gone for 26. The Windies are five for 40, and they trail by 55. This could be over tonight. Yeah, it's looking ugly now. And you've slammed your pen into the desk there, Gussie. You're filthy about it. Knuckle down, West Indies, you're saying. But good change from Pat Cummins. Cameron Green, as Beef just described, getting into the surface. And he's certainly been able to drive well so far in the innings, McKenzie, but good, couldn't get on top of the bounce there and could do nothing but drive it straight to Labuschagne and at catching cover. Well positioned field setting from Pat Cummins, and he's got to go now for 26 off 35. Stark bowling. There's a hook shot. It's in the air. Straight down the throat of the big half. And he ain't dropping that with great big mitts. De Silva's got to go. First wicket falls. Seven for 84. Oh, that's the second time in the match. De Silva, you said. He just looks like he wants to play the hook shot every single time. There's two back there. In the first innings, it was Pat Cummins with the short ball and he did exactly the same to Travis Head at deep square leg and on this occasion it's Stark. Stark got the wicket this morning, he's in, he's around the wicket and he might have drawn an edge, yes he has, up goes the finger, muted celebration and is that the crowd booing because I want to see more cricket, 8 for 94 and the inevitability is drawing closer. Well, just put a wrap on Alzari Joseph, I think he tried to let the ball go then, he was half hearted about the shot, he's outside the off stump back of a length and he, he didn't want to play at it and he's just poked at it. Bold, shouldering arms. That doesn't do your argument much good, Mr. Lara. Moti is <laughs> Hazelwood has five. Windy still need one to make Australia bat again. Yeah, he's let a straight one go here. I'm just wondering whether the umpire's going to look at the no ball. He sort of he looked at Hazelwood, so I'll have to keep an eye on that, but uh, he's just misjudged that. Yeah, definitely misjudged it. I, I said he can bat. Comes in again at the wicket. Bowling around the wicket. Oh, oh, and the easiest stumble you'll ever see in your life. Shamar Joseph saw it. His eyes lit up. He danced down the wicket. And a terrific stumping to Alex Carey. Oh, he just He's so clean behind the stumps. Alex Carey, the local boy, took the bowls off. No problem at all. Shamar Joseph, well, it was a spirited fight again from him with the willow. Nathan Lyon, yeah, really pulling the the pace back on those two deliveries, floating them up, enticing Shamar Joseph out of the crease, and he's stumped by about half a, half a wicket, I reckon. Oh, yeah, without doubt. His eyes would have lit up, didn't get to the pitch of the ball, it spun, it bounced, and how how easily, as you said, Carey, behind the stumps, just gloves and takes takes the bales off, and away we go. So, But an interesting fight from, from the West Indies. It, it could have been all over in the first half hour today, but the, the tail, they're just having a crack.